हेलो एंड वेलकम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट स्टेविन जॉनसन सिंड्रोम एंड टॉक्सिक एपिडर्मल नेक्रोलाइसिस नाउ इन द पिक्चर वी कैन सी अ टिपिकल केस ऑफ स्टेविन जॉनसन सिंड्रोम इन अनदर पिक्चर वी कैन सी अनदर टिपिकल केस ऑफ टॉक्सिक एपिडर्मल नेक्रोलाइसिस नाउ इटियोलॉजी द इटियोलॉजी ऑफ द बोथ केसेस spectrum of the mucocutaneous drug induced or idiopathic reaction pattern associated with impaired capacity to detoxify the intermediate drug metabolites due to genetic susceptibility or keratinocyte apoptosis due to fast and facile interaction history it is a rare and high mortality rate about 5% in stephen johnson and 30% in toxic epidermal characterized by skin tenderness erythema discoloration epidermal necrosis and sloughing affecting skin and the mucous membranes with systemic symptoms stephen johnson syndrome lesions generally more macular to mucous membranes involved and 10% epidermal sloughing typically drug is started 1 to 3 weeks prior to the rash or feeling unwell with fever cough or sore throat toxic epidermal necrolysis is similar to stephen johnson but 30% of the body surface area sloughed stronger association with drugs as cause uh, than Steven Johnson and typically drug started 1 to 3 weeks prior to the rash now physical findings fever stinging eyes pain swallowing trunk lesions which are dusky red macules that become gray in gray in color and flaccid blisters followed by the spread erosions and erythema of the buccal genital and oral mucous ocular mucous sign most cases nikolsky sign includes rubbing of the unaffected skin induces the lesion common offending drugs includes anticonvulsants especially carbamazepine ferritoin nsaids allopurinol sulfur drugs and much higher incidence in hiv now complications potentially life threatening because of the multi system involvement like renal failure severe ophthalmic involvement possible investigations include skin biopsy cbc electrolytes liver enzymes creatinine urine analysis inr ptt cultures of the blood and denuded skin Chest X-ray considered bronchoscopy or upper GI series. Differential diagnosis includes burn, bullous pemphigoid or lupus, linear IgA bullous disease, pemphigus pulgaris or perineoplastic syndromes. Now, management. It requires management by the experienced physician, usually dermatologist and or plastic surgeon. Can determine escorting prognostic score based on the age, blood parameter, surface area, malignancy and heart rate. Remove and avoid the offending drug which is the most important step. supportive care often need ophthalmology assessment and icu or bone unit admission proper wound dressings and antibiotics if any evidence of the infection and histamines and topical steroids for pruritus pain control and oral hygiene chlorhexidine rinse is important ibig therapy can be uh, given but it is a controversial as of now end of the topic